Shalom Israel. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Wadash, the bonds to the apostles and elders of great millstone, Shalom to the elect. Um, I'm going to do a lesson. Um, and I'll praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai for allowing me to do this lesson, of course. I was thinking about it the other day. You know, we have to remember what our first job is, what our first love is. You know, because a lot of times we can get caught up in the hustle and bustle of this world. And, you know, you got to get up. You get up every day, you go to work. You get up every day, you go to work. You get up every day at the same time and go to work. And it's almost like, you know, you spend a lot of your time either sleeping or working, man. You know, but we have to remember this is not the thing that we do is just to survive. You know, as far as, you know, getting our daily bread. And it's not to, uh, you know, hold this this world this worldly uh, work of our spiritual work, you know. And um, you know, I had to tell myself too, first and foremost for myself, and then for you, Akim, you know, out there, because uh, you know, the hot topic last week was, well, you know, was it was. On the app-based jobs, which is a good thing, you know, help brothers get their daily bread. But I remember Apostle Gabar, you know, him being a, um, a beautiful leader, as as all the apostles, and he was he did a video. On yeah, you know, it's a good thing, you know, you get your money, you know, you get your daily bread to help you out on your um, you know, your uh, daily expenditures, bills, you know, for your kids, so on and so forth, paying your tights. But he was giving the um the um the balance to it all to where it's not just the only well it's to know that this is a, a means to an end you know because like I said you could sometimes you know get get caught up and all these bills you got to pay you might get um you know just start start thinking currently for a second then you got to catch yourself like ah oh, man the most I got me I'm not even going to stress it. Okay, so then what, you think about all the bills and all the shit you got to catch up on, and you might think, okay, well, I got to do a lot more overtime, man, you know, but then what, that takes away your spirit from the Lord, now you're all tired, you know, you can't really do uh, much work because all your time is spent, you know, all your time is spent, um, you know, in Esau's, doing Esau's work, you know. What your house shot did say, well, render unto Caesar the things that be given unto Caesar. All right. But we also got to render unto the Lord the things that be given unto the Lord. So without further ado, this is Isaiah 61 and 1. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. All right, so this is a much more um, profitable uh, work because it's for the Heavenly Father. All right, the Lord of Lords, the God, the God of Gods, man, the one who owns this whole earth, man, and everything in it. You know, the scriptures say that we should fear the uh, Father spirits and live, man. You know, and the Most I have called, he, he, he has called us to do this work, man. You know, it's not like we just woke up and, you know, applied to do this like a, a, a carnal job and we got the job, man. No, the most I have called us, man. So it's a high calling, you know, so we should treat it as such. Okay. Like in your job, man, you be careful. You know, you, you, you listen closely to you listen closely to directions. You be careful. Uh, You know, you think or you should try to think before you do things at the job. You know, you try to. Basically, um, be punctual, be there on time, you know, and while you're there, well, you're working as hard as you can so you don't get fired, man. How much more important it is to do the work of the Heavenly Father that way, man. Okay. So it says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. Okay, and the Most High, he it was commandment that we what that we uh be a father to the fatherless, man. All right, 
it was a commandment that we um we uh push this word out to Israel, man. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Okay. And just as Yahweh Shah did, he passed the torch to us, man. Okay? Because what? He saw something in us, man. Alright, now are we to make him a liar? Or are we to um you know what I'm saying uh, uh you know prove him right, man? You know? This is the most beautiful, uh most uh paying job ever, man. Because this leads to salvation, man. A carnal job only leads to more uh, uh, debt because you got to pay taxes. The more you work, the more you got to pay taxes. Okay, the more you work, the the uh, more the more the more you work, the more you make the owner rich, man. Like my dad always said, you never you never get rich working for somebody else, man. All right, but with the Most High, hey, you're gonna get like the scripture said, uh, he that follows me in the regeneration, he shall get a hundredfold, man. In Matthew 19 and 27. You know. So this is our, this is the most important job. In Isaiah 61 and 4. And they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the wasted cities. The desolation of many generations. You know. So this job is going to. um, You know. Not, not just pay us now. But it's going to pay us. You know. For, for the uh, next eternity, man. You know? The scriptures say what? Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. Okay? So what? By us doing this work, us gaining knowledge and wisdom of the scriptures, all right, it's going to be the stability of our time and Jacob's trouble. Because the scriptures say in Proverbs, let me just grab that real quick. One of my favorite precepts, man. Proverbs chapter 10, verse uh, 16. The labor of the righteous tended to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. Okay? So our, our work that we're doing, all right, because labor goes into work, man. All right? Like you have a what? What's called, I do construction, and you have what's, um, an occupation within the construction industry known as laborers, man. All right, and they have no, uh, they have, they don't have uh, one specific job, man. They're laborers. They they supposed to, you know, they supposed to sweep. They supposed to clean. They supposed to put up scaffolding. You know what I'm saying? They supposed to. Uh, Sometimes they even do a uh, cement work, man. They do it all. They do a little bit of everything. So this is the labor of the righteous tended to life. Okay. And that's that's. According to Isaiah 61 and um uh one one on down, that's what we're doing, man. Alright? We giving life to uh basically to the um the broken heart, man. The elect. You know, and ultimately all Israel, man. Alright, but this is uh the most important job, man, because it's tending to life, man. Alright, and what's what's uh ultimately life? Yahweh shot, man. So us by us doing this work, alright, we tend to Yahweh shot, man. Okay. I believe that's the scripture. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Or is it the life or the light? Uh, let me see. Oh, yep. Yeah. John 14 and 6. Yahweh shall say unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Alright, so by us tending to uh, life, we tend to Yahweh shall, man, his needs. Alright. Like uh, Matthew 25, I just think about that. How was I said when I was hungry, um, you gave me food. When I was uh, thirsty, you gave me meat. All right? And you have done that to me. Let me just grab it. I'm not even going to quote. I'm going to just grab it. This is Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. Um, let me see.
Yeah, I'm gonna start at 31. Actually, I'm gonna start at 29 because this is a bad chapter, man. It says, For unto everyone that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that have not shall be taken away, even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. All right, like the brother, it made me think about what the brother in the camp always said. He, you know, if you always take breaks, you're going to end up broke, man. You know, and that's going to be those who, uh, that's going to be that unprofitable servant instead of Heavenly Father, man. The Most High is not going to, you know, he's not going to acknowledge him when it really, when it truly counts, man, the day of Jacob's trouble, man. When it's time to receive those. And, and then even furthermore, afterwards, all right, when it's time to, uh, be uh, delivered from the missiles, man. And when it's time to receive the crowns. So it says, verse 31, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall shut and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. From the foundation of the world. For I was in hunger and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. You know, because contrary to popular belief, you know, most people in this world don't give a shit about your house shot, man. Alright? Even though what? You got all these prophecies happening, people are, you know, dreaming dreams. You know, all flesh dreaming dreams. You got chariots showing themselves at an all time high. All right, and guess who's reporting on it, man? In truth, sincerity, us, man. All right, the men of great millstone, those that follow in truth, sincerity, man. All right, so it says, Naked and ye clothed me, I was sick and ye visited me. I was in prison and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger and fed thee or thirsty and gave thee, th and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, And as much as ye have done it unto the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Okay. So... Uh, about us serving, you know what I'm saying, um, the, about us serving, you know, Israel, and like I said, most importantly, the elect of Israel, because those are the only ones that were slated to receive this truth and to understand it, all right? We have done that to Yahweh shot, man, okay? So this is, um, let me see if it was more than that, Isaiah, back at Isaiah 61. And I'm going to start back at four. And they shall build up the. Verse three. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And they might be called trees of righteousness. The planting of Yahweh. That he might be glorified. And they shall build the old ways. They shall raise up the form of desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolation of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. But ye shall be named the priests of Yahweh. Men shall call on you, men shall call you the ministers of God, ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast thereof, shall ye boast yourselves. Okay. Hey, so all this is coming, man. But we got to, uh, you know, put the work in first. Just as Yahweh laid out the foundation. You know what I'm saying? As far as giving, 
Yahweh laid out the foundation, man. So if we claim to be a follower of who the world ignorantly calls Christ, Jesus Christ, which his real name is Yahweh Shai, all right, hey, we're going to build upon that foundation, man. And just as Yahweh Shai built us, we're supposed to go out there and build others, man. You know? You know? We're supposed to uh, um, hey, bring, bring the elect into the marriage, man. Okay? That's our job, man. Ezekiel 3 and 17. You know, if you forget, this is another um example, man. Or another uh, clue. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. You know? It says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. To save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hands, man. You know, and, and just the simple fact that the fear of the Lord should make us do the work, man. All right? Because, just like I said, when you go into a, even on the job scenario, when your boss gives you something to do, all right, or he might put you in charge while he goes away. When he comes back and it's not done, guess who he's going to blame for it not being done? You. Okay? So that's just the same, you know, and, and, and it's truth of us. You know, the most High is going to blame us, you know. Because, hey, we got, you got blood in your hands, man. Going out there in the truth, man. I mean, going out there, all right, and not pushing the truth, man. That's, hey, that's blood on your hands, man. You know? So, hey, as scriptures say, and um, let's see, Second Timothy three and sixteen. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all good works. Um, let's see. Last one, First Timothy chapter six and verse twelve. Fight the good fight of faith. Actually, I'm gonna start at verse ten. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Okay, the care of it more than the care of righteousness. As it is written, I was I was gonna get it, but I, I'll just quote it: Matthew six and thirty three. Seek ye the kingdom first, and all these things shall be added unto you. Basically meaning all of the cares, I mean all these things of the world. But for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. You know, because that's all money is, man. Sorrows. Which, like I said, you know, you use it, you know, as, as getting by, but not as... Putting it before the Lord as your first profession. Always thinking about, you know, getting money, man. In the book of Mark, the fourth chapter, it says that, that you know, the cares of this world uh, choke the word. You know, like today is the Sabbath, man. You know, being that today is the Sabbath, hey, you should be doing work for the Heavenly Father, man. Because this is your rest day. You know, it came the Sabbath came in tonight until tomorrow. Now, we know, hey, you know, you got to work, you know, for some brothers like me, I got to work during the day. But guess what? I, 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 I know that I can follow the Sabbath as best as possible, man. You know? But we know, you know, you got to use wisdom, too. You can't just take off work every week on the Sabbath. That's not wisdom. All right? But at the same time, you know, you... You could be meditating on the Lord while you're working. You know what I'm saying? After work, you know, you could be watching videos um, and doing, doing more work of the Lord, man. Um, so it says, verse 11, verse 17, 6 and 11. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. You know, keeping these things in remembrance that your first profession is the Lord. 
All right, because he called you. All right, and um, you just gotta know that, man. The Most High called you, and it's a great, like they say, it's a light at the end of this tunnel, man. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, wherein too thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee charge in the sight of God, who quickeneth all things, and before Yahawashad, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, unto the appearing of our Lord Yahawashad. All right, hey, and with that, man, hey, that's beautiful, because I, I always didn't even plan on reading that far, man. But it's always, you know, the spirit takes over, man. You know, so we see how beautiful this truth is, man. This is the only thing that makes us happy. It's the only thing that should make you happy, you know, because this is the only thing that, you know, holds weight, holds substance, man. You know, you got to work and you got to keep working and you got to keep working. All right. But we know that what we building upon life eternal, man. Hey, you work in this place. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you be lucky if you get a fucking uh, uh, social security. You be lucky if you get a, some type of pension, man. You know, so it's better to. Put put more of your eggs or put more put your mind in, into working, you know what I'm saying? As this being your first profession, man, put more in your mind, all right, into working for the Lord. So with that, shalom to the elect.